What's good? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be breaking down two warp transitions that you can use for your music videos. In After Effects, I'll be using these two clips in order to create the first transition. To get started, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer 10 frames long. Grab the adjustment layer and drag it forward to where the cut is between these two clips. So you want to have five frames on the left and then five frames on the right. For the first effect, we'll be adding a turbulent displace. Open the displacement and I'll be changing that to turbulent smoother. I'll be increasing the amount to 100. Let's keyframe the amount at 100 in the middle. Click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes, and then go towards the beginning and keyframe the amount to zero. Keyframe the end at zero. Grab all three of these keyframes, easy ease them. For the next effect, we're going to add an optics compensation. Increase the field of view to 90. Make sure you have this reverse lens distortion selected so that it fills the entire composition. Let's keyframe the field of view at 90 at the center, and then go to the start, keyframe it to zero, and keyframe the end at zero. Easy ease all of those keyframes. We're going to then add an exposure. Keyframe the exposure at four at the center and then we're going to keyframe the start and the end at zero. We're going to then easy ease these keyframes and now if we play this we have that distort transition going from the first clip into the second clip and just to make this transition look even better we're going to add a radial blur as you guys can see by adding this radial blur it just adds more blur to our transition just makes it look a little better we're going to keyframe the amount at 15 at the center and then go to the start keyframe to zero and keyframe the end at zero make sure to easy ease all of those keyframes and now when we play this we have that warp transition going from the first clip into the second clip. Now moving on to the second transition, I'll be using the same exact clips. For this one, we're going to be creating a freeze frame transition. And a freeze frame transition is essentially where the first frame of the second clip is going to be used in order to create this transition. So the first frame of this second layer is going to be a still image. And then we're going to animate that still image in order to create a seamless transition from the first clip into the second clip. In order to get started, we're going to grab the second layer click ctrl d in order to duplicate it and let's just rename this just to make it easier so i'll name that to sofago freeze we're going to then click this layer right click it go to time click freeze frame and what that does is just freeze frame the first frame of the second layer for this freeze frame layer we're going to make it six frames long and because we're going to be using this freeze frame layer in order to create the transition you want to make sure you drag it backwards six frames and with this freeze frame layer i'm going to use the pen tool in order to mask out my sub Subject. After masking out your subject, you want to then click that layer and click M twice in order to reveal your mask. Solo this layer and I'm going to increase the mask feather to 4 and then decrease the mask expansion to negative 1. And what that pretty much does is just create smoother edges for our subject. Unsolo that layer and now as you guys can see we have our freeze frame layer at the front and then our video layer in the background which is the first layer. We're going to be using the same effects for this transition similar to the first transition but we're just going to be changing up some of the settings. Let's first add a turbulent displace. Add it to the freeze frame layer. I'm going to change the displacement to turbulent smoother. Increase the amount to 100 and also increase the size to 120. Let's keyframe the amount at 100 at the start and then go forward six frames keyframe it back to zero easy ease both of those keyframes for the next effect we're going to add an optics compensation increase the field of view to 150 and then click reverse lens distortion and as you guys can see this effect makes our layer distorted to the left and i don't really like the way that looks so i'm going to adjust the view center and just adjust it in a way where it looks better so i'm going to have it like this keyframe the field of view at 150 at the start and then we're going to go forward six frames keyframe the field of view back to zero easy ease both of those keyframes keyframes. For the next effect, we're going to add an exposure. Keyframe the exposure at 5 at the start and then keyframe the end at 0. Easy ease both of those keyframes and by adding that exposure, it just makes our layer pop out more. For the final effect, we're going to add a radial blur. We're going to keyframe the amount at 15 at the start and then keyframe the end at 0. Easy ease both of those keyframes. And now when we play this, we have that distorted effect for our freeze frame layer. We're going to then grab all these effects. So just click all these effects click ctrl c and then copy and paste it to the second layer which is the layer that it transitions into and then open up those keyframes by clicking u for this optics compensation that's the only settings that i'm going to change where i decrease 
the field of view to 90 and then for all the other effects i'll just leave that as it is and now when we play this we also have the second clip with the distorted effects we're going to create a flash transition so let's create a new adjustment layer make sure that adjustment layer is all the way at the top for this adjustment layer i'll make it six frames long make sure that adjustment layer is in between where the cut happens between the first clip and the second clip we're going to add an exposure keyframe the exposure at three at the center and then keyframe the start at zero and keyframe the end at zero click that layer click u to reveal the keyframes easy ease all of those keyframes now when we play this we have that flash effect as the transition happens. The final thing we're going to do is add a blur to our first layer. I'm going to add a camera lens blur, add it to the first clip, and right when this freeze frame layer appears, keyframe the blur radius at 20, and then go back five frames. Keyframe the blur radius at zero. Easy ease both of these keyframes. Now when I play this, as you guys can see, the background layer or the first clip goes out of focus right before our freeze frame layer cuts in but that is all i have for this video i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video